everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my New Year's resolutions video and I'm pretty sure, hmm, I don't even know if I filmed one of these last year. But um, I know some people are very, they like don't like to do New Year's resolutions or like they're like against it and stuff like that. But I really like making New Year's resolutions. I know last year I made some so I wanted to share those with you guys. And I made some new ones this year for my personal life and YouTube. So, um, I'm going to share those with you guys today. And also, part of my New Year's resolution is to start getting into my Bible and stuff. So, I'm going to share like a little mini haul with you guys of some things that I got in the mail today. And yeah, so let's get into the video. Okay, so last year I wrote down all my New Year's resolutions in this little like um blue notebook thing and last year I didn't even do anything for New Year's Eve I'm pretty sure I just stayed at home and I probably stayed up until like 12 just you know for the occasion and then I went to sleep but I'm pretty sure I probably bought this like a couple of days before um New Year's Eve to write my resolutions down and stuff and this is where like I did my journaling and like it's like um two parts so it's like two subjects so I did like my journaling and personal in the front one and like the first one and then health and stuff in the back so this all has just like little journals in it from like only January and then um, my New Year's resolutions are right here. So, last year's New Year's resolutions were, like, to stop drinking all types of pop, to read more, to stop needing the TV to go to sleep, to believe in myself, drink water every day, think positive, go meatless once a week, sit in silence for 10 minutes a day, be grateful slash appreciative, save money, get a job, lose at least 5 pounds a month, and then, um, just some other that's basically what my new year's resolutions were last year and i don't remember what my youtube ones were i'm pretty sure it was like the same ones as this year like to get so many subscribers and then um to post more videos and stuff so yeah but i wanted to show you with you guys this year's and this year i did it in a sketchbook because i had um a sketchbook from last year and I haven't used it so I thought this would be like perfect because I'm not in like any art class where I'm gonna need it so I thought it would be perfect so the first ones are YouTube and then the second ones like the second half is personal so for YouTube I only have four and that is to number one get to 200 subscribers this year I my resolution like happened I got to 100 and I'm like, that still like amazes me that I have 100. So, yeah. So next year I'm hoping for 200 around this time. Um, to use my main channel and my vlog channel. As you guys know, um, well, in order to have entered my giveaway, you had to be following my vlog channel and my main channel. But I do have a vlog channel that is always linked down below. So I'm hoping to start using both my vlog channel and my main channel and then kind of um, okay, so I'm back. So, what I also wanted to say is that on my main channel, because this is like kind of like an announcement, on my main channel I'm going to have makeup and beauty videos, DIYs, any kind of like a room tour, desk tour, bathroom tour, closet tour, stuff like that is all going to be on my main channel. And hauls are also going to be on my main channel. Um morning and night routines and like skincare routines are all going to be on my main channel and then on my vlog channel is going to be like tag videos vlogs of course um cooking videos not that i do a lot of cooking videos but i do some um plan with me's and then anything planner related is going to be all on my vlog channel and um at the I don't even remember when I was going to do it, but probably at the end of the year, I'm going to delete all of my plan with me's and put them onto my vlog channel and probably take off all my vlogs, maybe try to put those on my vlog channel. I'm not sure, but I just want to get my channel, my main channel down to the main stuff 
what I like wanted to make my channel about which is beauty life and stuff like that so um, that's kind of what's gonna happen in the new year to get 50 subscribers on my vlog channel um, is also one of my resolutions so and I think I have a decent amount over there so that's pretty cool um, and then to upload two videos a week right now my schedule is I believe it's it was like Monday and Wednesday but now I'm changing it to like Tuesday and Thursday so yeah um, so those are all my YouTube resolutions now on to my personal resolutions they're kind of the same as last year so yeah uh, the first one is to cut soda and candy out completely um, I used to not drink soda that much but recently I found myself drinking like Sprite and like lemonade and cherry pepsi like when we go out to eat and stuff and I kind of want to get away from that and I mainly just want to stick my like what I drink is water um because I like at school I always try to drink water like even when our teacher like our Hoya teacher she'll bring in um orange juice and stuff when we have donuts I always just bring my own water like that's the best thing to do always carry around water with you it's it's the greatest and it gets you more hydrated than anything else like you'll see like basketball players drinking Gatorade and stuff at a game that's not good for you like that'll just slow you down because of all the sugar it's way 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 better to drink water in any instance so that's my goal for next year is mainly water and then hopefully no sugar or candy I know I'm gonna want chocolate but it's gonna have to be dark chocolate because that's better for you um, my next one is to lose uh, about 20 pounds I'm hoping to lose because I'm taking senior pictures next summer and trying to look you know decent for them and to get really cute clothes so I'm hoping that with gym at school drinking water working out I don't even know how many times a week here but doing all that I'll hopefully get my goal like to my goal and I'm really happy so we're hoping we're wishing praying so my next goal is to do if it fits my macros or if it fits your macros I should say and then my fitness pal steps in water so the if it fits your macros is calculating your macros and I think I have a website I'll try to remember to link it down below but I know Marissa Lace does this Max Tuning does it I don't remember if Nikki Blackader does it I'm pretty sure she does um but you basically you can go onto a website you put in like your weight your height maybe your BMI and stuff like that and then if you're trying to like bulk up or if you're trying to lose weight or like maintain and then you can see how many macros you're supposed to have throughout the day. And then if you go on to my fitness pal, you can put your macros and stuff in. And your macros are like your carbs, proteins, and fats. So you can honestly eat what you want, but you have to remember to eat it in moderation and to make sure you don't go past what you're supposed to have on a daily basis. So like, for example, have like 200 carbs, 50 proteins, and like 30 fat like that would be like a thing I don't know if that is one but that's just the numbers that I came up with so yeah no um so I want to try to do that and then my fitness pal is also one that I want to try to do again I've tried my fitness pal so many times and every single time I try to do it it's like a failure like I forget when I try to do it oh but the first week of school I did it and I was really good with it I did it every single day and then during like on the weekend I just fell off because it's so much to track like if you have like little things at school like somebody brings in cookies or somebody brings in this or that like you have to put that in there to calculate or like you know so it's kind of hard but I'm gonna try to do it again because it's especially like easy though because you have a barcode to scan hopefully on the foods that you eat so that's like pretty simple so hoping to try that back out again and then steps is basically just counting your steps throughout the day I do that now but mine is deleted shoot yeah so I'm trying to do that still because I do it now um, and then water tracking I like to do water tracking in my planner I have the hydrate stickers at the bottom so I like to do those I try to get in four bottles of water a day because that is 
I'm pretty sure that's how much you're like supposed to have. But there's a certain amount that you're supposed to have for your body weight. So you're supposed to drink half your body weight a day. And like right when you wake up in the morning, you're supposed to like start drinking water because it gets your metabolism going. So trying to do that, I don't know. It's going to be a challenge, but it's honestly, you just have to think about like in the end what you honestly want you're gonna have to work for it and it's gonna be hard but you just have to build that like support system and motivate yourself and don't let other people get you down even like what they say just ignore it like and like um when was it a couple of weekends ago maybe it was last weekend yeah no it was last like monday um my brother was arguing with his girlfriend and like tweeted tweets happened and then this other girl she tweeted and she tweeted about me and she said like um I think it's funny how you're six how someone is 600 pounds and they eat like they're skinny and they have no neck and it's just like things like that like but it's just like things like that are like something that really annoys me and irritates me and it's just like the whole time that was happening I was just like thinking to myself I was like is this girl gonna affect your future no does she matter no is like is she gonna do anything to me no does she even matter no what she says does not matter what other people say about you does not matter it matters on what you think about yourself and that's all that really matters and if you're happy when you look in the mirror then you're happy don't let what other people say get you down and um affect your process and affect your journey because in the end they're not gonna matter and it's just like i just thought about all this stuff that i have for my future and I have a good future ahead of me, I have a good head on my shoulders, I have like everything a person could wish for and I'm very fortunate and I just did not let what she was saying about me affect me because I didn't really even care. So, um, okay, so the next one is to have a better attitude, have a better attitude toward life, school, everyone and just things in general. So doing a school project with people at school, have a good attitude about it. I never do because I just like hate it. Hate working with people at school. I don't know. It's just weird for me. I don't know. I just feel awkward. Um, and just have a better attitude towards different situations that come up and towards like my family. Sometimes I get an attitude with my grandma or my mom or my brothers and it's just like have a better attitude, be a better person because your positivity affects other people's positivity. Positivity. It affects other people's just like attitude so you being positive helps other people be positive and yeah so yeah um be polite and respectful i always try to say thank you even though people don't say like you're welcome back it's just like you go through like sometimes when i go through the drive through at mcdonald's um they say have a good day i say always say thank you you too because that's just like the nice thing to say and then like when they hand you your food at the second window they say here's your food have a great day and I say thank you you too like that's just being like nice and then like um if people help you out with something like this girl my backpack was unzipped and she zipped it for me and I was like thank you like that was really nice um and just different things like that can just like help people be happier and nicer and better your positivity positivity helps other people's attitude like I said so I always try to be polite and more respectful which is what I'm working on saying like yes ma'am like you know stuff like that so yeah um next one is start reading my bible and devotional mm. and then um this is where I wanted to talk to you guys about my bible you know um and sorry if people out there are like religious and you know but that's something that I want to reflect on my channel is my religion and no offense to the people who are like not Christian or my religion it's just something I believe in God and I believe that one day he's gonna come down and take us and I believe that there's a heaven and a hell and you know that's just me um so this is my bible my grandma got me this bible in 2008 years ago and it is just a young woman of faith bible and i'm hopefully going to start reading it and doing it every single day 
Um, and I really love this Bible because it's just like very girly and it just has like little things that like help you with reading it so I'm hoping to start getting into that and hoping to start watching um church service online because the church that we used to go to does church service online and it's like 30 to 45 minutes so I'm hoping to start doing that every Sunday so wake up every Sunday get coffee watch church service do my bible and then I also got these in the mail yesterday. These are Twist and Glide highlighters. And they are Bible highlighters. So they have a certain tip on them. Which is really cool. So they look like this. They have like that flat tip. And I ordered these off of Amazon. And I will have them linked down below. So I'm super excited about these. And one thing that like used to happen is you can't like write in the Bibles at like church because that's obviously not your property so it's better to have your own bible so you can do your own notes and you can just highlight in it so yeah the next thing that i got was a devotion and i was talking about this in one of my vlogs i'm pretty sure and um i really wanted to get this book so i ended up getting it and it's a teen to teen 365 daily devotions by teen girls so they are teen girls from all over the world well, I don't know if it's all over the world or if it's just the U.S. I'm pretty sure it's just the U.S. But um, a bunch of girls put a little, like, devotion in here and, like, um, so like that. So I'm hoping to read one every single day for the whole entire year next year. So I'm super excited about this. I will leave it linked down below as well. The next book that I've got, I've seen this over all like sometime a couple of times on twitter and people like um talking about this book and this book like got messy like i just got it in the mail this morning and it's like dirty i don't even know like down here down there but it is crazy love by i don't know chan oh francis chan with somebody and it's just I'm really excited to read it because I feel like it's just gonna have such a like well, I'm super excited about this book I will leave this linked down below as well and there are a few other books that I want to get on Amazon so I'm hoping to order those sometime soon but those ones are more like um for your personal like um being mindful and wise and stuff like that so i'm hoping to get those soon and those come i really love amazon prime because they come really fast and mail so highly recommend um the next one is just daily devotional and daily reading so um the 365 devotional and then the crazy love reading um and then work on my anger slash temper when i get mad i get mad and I really want to work on it because it's been bad kind of lately. Like on our birthday, me and my brother's birthday, um, he like was very aggressive and like I'm pretty sure I talked about it in a vlog. He hit me with a shoe and I got very angry and that is not me to get angry like that. And sometimes I just get really angry just at other people and like what they do and different things that like they do that just bother me. So I'm trying to work on that. And not be as like angry towards people and just have a good attitude and just like brush it off my shoulders and just keep moving on with my day. The next one is to learn cursive. I have been working on my cursive a lot this year and I'm trying well a lot like this past like these past couple of months because when I do DIYs sometimes I like to write different things on um, canvas sometimes and I like it to be in cursive so I'm gonna like try to print out little cursive things and work on it and yeah so that's one of my new year's resolutions um my next one is to get a job I have been job hunting so much this past month I need to call back places I'm just too lazy and I never want to call back places but um I really need to find a job soon because I need to save up money for me moving out in 2017 which I'm so excited about I cannot wait to move out because it is hectic here and it is crazy and yes it's crazy um that's another one of my new year's resolutions is to save up money I need to save up a lot of money so I can move out and 
Yes. But it, I know, like, people, like, well, I know, like, older people are always like, oh, you never want to move out because you got to pay bills. But it's just like, no, like, I need to move out. I do not like living with other people and have to, like, do what they say and put things the way they want it and people all like something always hanging over your shoulders like someone says oh that's mine anyway so like don't touch it or it's my house anyway so who are you to say anything like that's what I hate so much and I just don't want that and I just want to move out get my own place pay my own bills not have to worry about other things and I know like some of my friends are not doing that like they're staying with their parents but they're in a whole different situation than me I don't live with my parents I live with my grandma and she doesn't really even want us here because she's like getting frustrated with just different things that happen here and there and like things break and stuff but it's just like to be honest, she's never had anybody live here but herself, so of course, things are going to happen, things are going to break, bills are going to be higher, because there are four people living here now, so it's just like, you know, like, it happens, it's life, you gotta move on, so, yeah. So, that is the end of today's video, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys you know got a little something out of this with the whole beginning of this video and if you guys want to leave your new year's resolutions down below i would love for you to share them with me or you can share them with me on twitter or instagram my instagram and twitter are always linked down below for you guys and i will see you guys in my next video and happy new year